A Russian Premier League football clash between Dynamo Moscow and reigning champion Zenit of St. Petersburg was abandoned after Dynamo's goalkeeper was hit by a missile thrown from the stands. Here's RT Sean Thomas with the details. Anton Shunin, who is the goalkeeper for Dynamo Moscow, has been injured. Doctors have looked at him and they say that he has been blinded by this incident and in fact can't see in one eye. Taking you back through this matches between St. Petersburg Zenit and Moscow Dynamo, it took place in the Himki uh, area, which is in the Moscow region. Fans from St. Petersburg started pelting the pitch with uh, fireworks and flares. One of those flares or fireworks went off in the face of the goalkeeper. He went down on the pitch in pain. Uh, and then after he was down on the grass and they had stopped the game, uh, it is reported that the fans continued to pelt objects at the goalkeeper at that time. So it, the decision was made by the officials and the referees who stopped that game. It's unclear whether or not that that game will be continued at a later date or if uh, Zenit will be given a, a technical defeat, if you will. Now, tensions between St. Petersburg fans and Moscow fans have gone on since around 2000. And eight. They've been at a high level. At that time, there was a banner that was placed at a game in St. Petersburg that was questionable. It got fans upset. And more recently, in September, between a game between a Torpedo and Dinamo, there was a similar incident with fireworks being thrown onto the field, but much worse at that time. And in the same month, Dinamo fans then attacked their own headquarters, saying that if the team doesn't play better, that they will start destroying Dinamo property as well. So there's a big problem, basically, between football fans and the uh, teams that they supposedly support, but their actions at this point in time are being more disruptive to the game than being helpful. Now, as of now, there are no laws in Russia that are designed to protect uh, football teams or to uh, punish fans. Right now, that is being talked about as a possibility in the near future.